Queen's Gambit declined, three knights variation. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Black had the better end of a sloppy end game. The Reedy is a less common but flexible opening that controls the center with the knight before committing a pawn. The d5 and e4 squares are under the control of nf6, which advances the knight into the center. c4 has control over the crucial d5 square. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. And c3 develops the knight to its best square, further fighting for control of d5. This makes winning a pawn a possibility. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. Recaptures. This kicks an opposing bishop. The bishop is now in a secure position. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is the last book move. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. There was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is excellent. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. That's a decent move. That's good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is quite good. By posing a threat to a bishop and compelling it to flee, this gains a tempo. It is ideal. This disregards an improved method for getting a bishop to safety. It is incorrect. A powerful play. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This can indicate that a pawn is being attacked. It is ideal. This protects the attacked pawn. This prevents the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. The game was almost evenly matched, but black is now worse. It is incorrect. This misses the chance to offer an equitable exchange of pieces. It is incorrect. This results in a pawn being lost. It is incorrect. This secures a pawn. It is ideal. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This gets rid of a pawn that was posing a material threat. It is ideal. It was open season on that night. It is ideal. This checks the king while also revealing an attack on a knight. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This defeats a threat and captures a knight. It is ideal. This confines the opponent's king while also moving a rook to the 7th rank, activating it. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. This protects the bishop who was attacked. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This threatens to take an outpost with a bishop. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. It is a mistake. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The best choice is this one. 
it is ideal. This enables the adversary to make a passed pawn. It is incorrect. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. This is the only good move. This was a game-changing move, giving white a winning position. It is a great move. This wins time by threatening a bishop and forcing it to retreat away. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. White is ahead at this point in the end game. It is ideal. It's all right. That's good. This wins a bishop. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This protects a bishop who was being attacked and lacked defense. It is quite good. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is quite good. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. This is a missed chance to imply that winning a rook is possible. It is incorrect. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. There was just one smart move to be made. This enables the adversary to exchange blows. It is incorrect. This leads to losing a bishop. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores an opportunity to fork pieces. It is a blunder. This ignores a better way to win a bishop. It is a miss. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. That rook was free for the taking. This threatens to play checkmate. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Black had the better end of a sloppy endgame.